Hey, I'm Steven. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about the joys of stock market investing and long-term dividend gain. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit the subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber and viewer, as always, welcome back. Guys, uh, a quick disclaimer. Um, today, later on today, uh, I'll be dropping a Q&A video. Now, I got a little bit of questions that some people have dropped, but I'm looking for a little bit more. So if you got any questions that you want to know about me or you know, situation, how I got on YouTube, what have you, anything, leave me a question in the uh, bottom of this video, in the comment section, and I'll be happy to answer in the next upcoming video. Now, getting back to that, uh, my game plan for December. Now, you know, we've had a up and down year in the stock market, and it's about to come to a close. 2020, 2022, yeah, 2022 is about to come to a close, and we're going into 2023. It's a bunch of uncertainty, you know. Now, I'm not going to get on here and act like I'm some guru or some swami or something saying I can see the future because I can't. Nobody can time the market. Nobody knows what the future holds. All you can do is put your money in some good securities and hope for the best and have a game plan. And my game plan is as such. You know, with economic uh, uncertainty, you know, we're still in inflation and all of that. They're trying to get that down. The Fed is supposedly... Going into December, going to do a rate hike of three quarters of a percent or 0.75. So we don't know. Hold on one second. <coughs> I apologize for that. This is what I plan on doing. First thing is this. In December, every year since I've been investing, I always calibrate my portfolio. Meaning I might take money from one, uh, you know, stock in my portfolio where I've made money. And I might relocate it, trade out of the position, trade some of the shares out of the position to build more capital in my uh, account or to put it in something else that I know is not doing too well. You know, now everybody has different uh, ways that they calibrate their portfolio. But once a year, you should calibrate your portfolio. I mean, you know, the object is to, uh, you know, make money, not lose money. So a lot of us have stocks that we've invested in. They aren't doing too well, you know, and uh, depending on your investment journey and your strategy with that stock, you might say, OK, well, listen, let me take downsize the stock and put the money, you know, just back in cash where I can trade again and buy some more stock. Or, you know, let me put it into another uh, stock that is about to take off or what have you. So I'll be calibrating my portfolio, you know. This whole December, another thing I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to continue dollar cost averaging. You know, a lot of you guys that are new to the stock market, you'll hear, you'll see the initials DCA. That's the acronym for dollar cost averaging. And all that means is every month, you know, you allocate some money from your funds and you put it into your trading account to buy stocks if the moment arises or to just re-up on stocks that you have you know, to build your positions. And um, if with me dollar cost averaging, I'm gonna focus on a lot of my winners, you know, blue chip stocks I have, stocks that performed really good, and you know, that will continue to perform well, you know, long after I've stopped investing. And you know, there's some, some stocks out there, and you know, you guys in your portfolios, you have stocks too that you believe in, and that have proved, ah, produce amicably for you so you know just focus on your winners you know another thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be buying in the etfs exchange traded funds like i have a whole uh portfolio of etfs and the three that i'm going to be concentrating on you know at present are voo vti and schd those are the three that I, well, three of the five that I have in this one particular portfolio that I'm really going to be, uh, you know, pouring money into, you know, just to make sure that once the market flips, these, uh, these uh, ETFs are going to really take off and give me a, give a big boost to the portfolio in the whole and my network. So I'll definitely be, be uh, messing with those. And for me right now, guys, the ETFs are the safest bet. You know, I mean, 
because the ETF is just a basket of stocks. So like if one stock is faltering, or, you know, it's still held up by other stocks. So, I mean, from a safety concern, you know, until we figure out some of this, you know, what direction we're going to really go, you know, with the economy and everything else, right now, ETFs are the safest bet. And uh, if you guys are new investors out there uh, and you don't know about ETFs, you might want to take time to get on YouTube and look at ETFs and get a little information about what they are, what they do, how they can help you in your portfolio and how they are a safe bet, you know, especially when you're coming into the uh, times as such where we're in the bear market. So that's one of the things. Last but not least, and I'll, I'll try to make this quick, I'm going to keep my strategic focus. Now, my strategic focus is basically, you know, I'm going to be looking for my favorite stocks or stocks that have been on my watch list. And like I said, you guys make sure you have a watch list that you pay attention to. You don't have to watch the market every day, but you know, just have some type of uh, alerts on your watch list and continue the dollar cost average in, save your money up and have alerts to where your favorite stock hits at a number that's viable for you. You get that alert, you know, I'm t I can't tell you how many times I'm like, okay, I want to wait till, uh, this company, like when the last company was Hershey. I want to wait for Hershey to fall a certain amount or get to a certain amount and I'll buy into it. And uh, I never set the alert. You know, Hershey had dipped twice since I, <laughs> since I wanted to buy into it and I missed out on the opportunities all because I wasn't responsible enough to put alerts on there. But um, guys, man, you know, I'm going to continue dollar cost averaging. I'm going to have my watch list, you know, I'm going to save every penny I have. That sounds weird, but I'm going to save every penny I have. I'm going to be cognizant of the decisions I make. I'm going to be watching the numbers, you know, P ratios. If some stocks are overpriced, you know, I'll be waiting for them to fall. And the bottom line is this, guys, with this whole situation, everybody's journey is different and everybody wants to achieve a certain thing in the stock market. So what I say may not agree with you and what you say might not agree with me. But the bottom line is this, have a strategy because this right here, they're anticipating that when this bull run takes off, it's going to be epic. And I want everybody watching me that's, you know, new to investing or something like, you know, or intermediate investor to really pay attention to what's going on because this is history being built. You know, we don't know that we're going to go into another time like this. You know, they say a, a bear market lasts, what, two, two and a half years? And we're early into this thing. So if everything goes according to historical planning, you know, you could really turn your uh, portfolio, your small portfolio into something tonight. Yeah, and so, what is wrong with me this morning? And send to something nice with, you know, just being steady and adding in and dollar cost averaging and understanding everything. Another thing is this is a good learning experience. And with the market being slow as it is, a lot of people that are uh, that just got investment accounts and just threw some stock in there, this is an awesome time for you to really sit down and have time to learn because the market's not fast paced. You know, like me, when I first started uh, investing, I just started grabbing stuff. Because I'm like, oh, I see that. That's a good company. And I didn't know how to do the particulars. I didn't know how to read some of the charts. I didn't know how to uh, look at and tell if a business is a good business or a bad business by looking at numbers. I didn't know any of that. You know, I just saw the name and was like, okay, I'm getting it. You know, and that's not the right way to do it. <laughs> and you can wind up getting getting messed up doing that. But, um, yeah, guys, I mean, Sunday morning, I just wanted to... Uh, Come in, drop a video, tell you what my game plan is, you know, going towards the summer. Now, in January, you know, I'll still be doing what I'm doing, but I'm, I'll also be watching because this is what I think. A lot of people saying, oh, we might not have a Santa Claus rally because they say Black Friday wasn't too bad. You got to remember, it's still e-commerce. A lot of people ain't going to try to go out there, you know, especially Black Friday been getting a, a bad rep as of late anyway. A lot of people are not trying to go out there, you know. Fighting and all that, don't nobody want to be a part of that. But the thing is this, the rise of Amazon and other e-commerce, people don't even have to leave their houses now. 
So until the numbers come in, these CPI numbers and all that stuff in December, nobody will know. But uh, they're talking about, oh, we might not have a Santa Claus rally in which, you know, in December the stocks take off because of all the spending and stuff. I believe we will. But I think it, it won't be recorded in what you see outside. You know, going into January, I think you'll see the tail end, especially December, you'll see the tail end of some good uh, earning reports and mixed earning reports. Once we get past this whole holiday season and we hit January, by March, we'll have a definite idea where we're going to be at. And that's when you're going to see all hell breaking loose on these stocks. That's just my opinion and how I see it. Will it happen? Most likely, yeah, I think it is. And I'm preparing for that. I have enough cash on hand, you know, sitting on the sidelines. And the thing is, you know, when you see stocks that you always wanted and you know you have enough money to buy them, sometimes it takes being patient. You know, with me, for some reason, every time I buy a stock, it'll go down. <laughs> it'll go down. And it might go down exponentially after I brought it. I'm like, damn, that was the, I thought was the good buying part. But don't be deterred. You know what I mean? Stay focused. Everything will work out right for you. So, guys, if you could, man, leave me a comment. You know, with any question you want to ask me, like I said before, or just leave me a comment about uh, what your plan is in December and what's your plan going forward in January. You know, I'm anxious to hear from you guys, some of you guys, and what you plan on doing. You know, because from me talking, you learn a little, about, ah, a little bit about me, and I learn a bit, little bit about you guys. So I appreciate the comments, man. All comments are welcome. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.